G'day ladies and gents, welcome to X Recite. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. If this is the first time you've visited, welcome. And if you would like to view more of my videos, uh, please consider subscribing and perhaps give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying this video, I occasionally share ideas and painting techniques and live stream from time to time. And don't forget to click the bell icon, uh, that way you don't miss out on any of the videos as I upload them. In this painting demonstration, I'm painting a study showing how you can paint gold metallic uh, without using gold uh, with pan pastels and pastel pencils for details. A short while ago, I was asked what colours would I use to make gold and thought this would make a great study. I used this study to do two things for me. Uh, I was also conscious to take my time and not to rush. So I did just that. Uh, I'm an impatient per person by nature and really struggle um, with trying to hold back from finishing artwork quickly and it shows. Uh, so uh, this was important for me to take my time and uh, don't rush. Don't rush. And the second uh, was to show the colours I use uh, when making gold uh, with pan pastels. The art supplies I used here are pan pastels, which I will go into uh, more detail in a little bit, uh, pastel pencils for various details, and the surface I used is a 24 by 30 centimetre uh, pastel matte paper by Claire Fontaine. And the shade that I used here was anthracite. I also used uh, soft tools, uh, soft tool applicators, makeup and synthetic uh, acrylic watercolour brushes and a very sharp blade uh, to cut through my masking film which uh, leads me to mention masking film by Express It. Um, masking film uh, helps me achieve crisp lines and reduces the risk of halos around my subject and something which I almost always uh, use now. Uh, if you haven't tried this, uh, you should. <laughs> at least once. Uh, just at least once. You'll think to yourself, why haven't I used this earlier? Uh, because I've said it and I, and, and I did. So I'll put a pop-up link uh, to a quick little video where I show you how I apply and use masking film. Okay, so the pan pastel colours I used here uh, were as follows. Uh, the raw umber group, the yellow ochre group, the orange group, I also used black and titanium white, and I also used tur the turquoise group with a touch of black for my background, which help make my teacup and saucer pop. Apart from using the individual colours, I also mixed these pans and made new colours or shades where I thought necessary. I think that's one of the strong and unique features of this medium is that you can mix and make uh, your own colours and I know I've said it before on previous videos but I feel it's something that has to be mentioned for those who are using paint pastels for the first time that that's something to consider. And for example, um, I used a separate piece of paper and used it like a watercolour or a painting palette, uh, which is another tool which is, which is necessary in my work. Can't do without it now. Thank you. 
And an interesting thing to remember about metallic uh, colours is that you don't have to use uh, the metallic colours to make metallic objects. And in this case, it's the gold. Uh, it's more about the reflection effect when you're painting or drawing, and that goes with any medium. And from time to time in this demonstration, uh, you will see a small, almost transparent paper underneath my hand. Uh, that's glassine paper, uh, which protects my work areas as I work. Another tool um, alongside the masking film, which is, um, which is mandatory when I work. Throughout this whole process, I didn't use any fixative. Uh, in fact, I don't need to use fixative on this paper. Um, the surface is non-abrasive, and for me, it's one of the best papers to work on when using pastels. Uh, I, I lost count of how many layers I applied on this surface. And last but not least, my kneaded and gum erases, which erases, which I can't do without. Um, I have picked up so much pastel um, with, uh, with my kneaded eraser. It's such a fantastic tool.